today's project is to give a look to an old bookcase I've inherited. It's been painted before but it's looking tired and worn out. I'm going to use another paint effect so it fits in more with the other furniture I have. I'm going to try to burr walnut effect. I'm going to use oil based paint. Show you how to do that. Okay, so you just get your paint, put a little bit on your palette. You don't want to use it all, so you can always add a bit more on. Tiny bit of oil on your on your brush, but I'm going to try and do it mainly dry, and then you just dab it on. Don't push it like that, but just dab. You do it in, I do it in splodges. And then just blend them in together. It's great activity for a Sunday afternoon. Don't want to do it yourself, get the kids to do it because it's quite easy to apply. Eh? So you can have, it doesn't have to be all even, you just have darker areas and just lighter areas. The base on the bookcase was cream, which is uh, quite a good colour for an undercoat for this. So that. I think it's best to use little turps as possible, really because it blends better. Otherwise if you put too much turps on it will just go runny. You won't have to do much with it. Then you get your scrap piece of cardboard. Just rip it so it's very square. You want it uh, completely smooth because you just want to get some rough edges. And then just run it over the surface, moving it slightly so you get a wavy pattern. You just want to create some light knot effects. The wood. It's also more of a swirl to it as well. Again, you can just go over that if you don't want to continue like that. Turn the carb all around. So I'll just do that again. Find a fresh piece of carb all around. Do it subtle if you like the or as unsubtle as you want. Creeping in the knots. I've actually got a bit too much turps on that because it's running. But it will dry out some more paint I've got on. So now we get our random piece of torn cardboard and again we work over this uh, As it's 
wood, and it's a, a natural thing. So it's not going to be perfect or like that. and the paints and shoes underneath, that's fine. I'm not too keen on that bit. No, it's kind of a little bit again. So there we have the uh, burr wood effect, and if you're going to have it freestanding, it might be an idea to the back of the cabinet, or if you're like me, I'm going to put this against the wall, so I'm not going to worry about that. And uh, hopefully that looks okay. So the, next, the final process will be to varnish it, probably a couple of layers of varnish. This is an oil-based paint, so it will take time to dry, um, but in today's warm weather it probably will be fairly quick. But you need to let that dry completely and then do a final varnish. As I said, you can